Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jackie, aka JMoneyMUA, and today I'm doing an updated Q and A. Um, I figured, I feel like I don't really get personal on here. Like you guys really don't know me too much. Like y'all do, but not like on a personal level. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that, and then I also have my Taco Bell. Um, it's actually fucking late. Like it's like eight, so I'm fucking starving. Just notice that I'm wearing a black shirt again like i was literally wearing a black shirt in my last video <laughs> when i go to taco bell i always get the number six which is the chalupas with the taco and i get a soft taco because i don't really like the art tacos like that i'm trying a new thing it's like spicy ranch or something like that i literally never ah, i literally never go to taco bell like that unless it's with ebe and i came here to film and I was like, y'all trying to go get food with me? And my sister and brother came with me, so yeah. They were like, something about spicy ranch. I was like, let me get that too. I'm starving, guys. Like, I'm really fucking starving. If y'all like Taco Bell, let me know what do you guys, what do you guys like from Taco Bell? And I'm doing a mukbang. I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know if I should do my makeup or a mukbang, but I asked y'all on Instagram and everyone wanted to see me eat. Y'all want, y'all want to make me look fat out here. For those of you who voted to do my makeup instead, I got gotcha. y'all. I need to do a makeup video. Um, these are like my favorite chips. Let's get started. Alright, so I wrote my little... <laughs> Since I film with my phone, I wrote my... I wrote the questions on my little agenda. Since I'm eating, I'm going to start with the... What's my go-to midnight snack? Air. No, but really, it's air because I'm fucking fat and I don't want to eat at midnight, you know? I don't need no snack at midnight. All I need is air and water. That's all I need. Shit. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Whenever I do have a midnight snack, um, it's barbecue chips with some Valentina. That's my midnight go night. What's the, what, what, what? That's my midnight go-to snack. Next question. How has my quarantine been? Um, and mostly like how was quarantine, you know, when we were on lockdown? Because right now it's like, I feel like it feels kind of normal, like my normal life. But, you know, we still have to like do a lot of shit. Okay. So let's talk about how my quarantine was, you know, when we were on lockdown. All right, so before like the lockdown, I was working at Ulta and obviously they shut down and I became a stay at home mom. And at first I was like, oh my God, like, I hope this is not like for long, you know? Like I actually did not think it was gonna be this long. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought maybe, you know, for a month or something. But no, obviously we're still here. The virus is still here. So um, yeah, I was like a little worried. I was like, damn, like I'm gonna be a stay at home mom. Like everything's gonna change. Um, I've never been the type to be like, oh, I wanna be a stay at home mom. Like this is what I wanna do. I've always been like, oh, like no, I wanna work. And honestly, I didn't work a lot. Like I didn't want to like, be away from Santi so much so I didn't work a lot like I would work like maybe like four days a week um sometimes five but yeah I wouldn't work a lot because I didn't want to I didn't want to leave Santi um without like me and Rod you know because like I don't know I feel like he's still little like I don't really want to leave him so I wouldn't work a lot but I, I would still work you know um I've always liked working 
not that we love working you know not that we love getting up and fucking going to work but i we obviously like getting our money so when the lockdown happened i was like damn like i'm gonna be stuck at home with santi like every day um so that changed i became a stay-at-home mom um which it was actually not bad at all like i was expecting the worst like i was like damn like i'm gonna go crazy like just being at home 24 7 it's just like i don't know with a child too like it's just it's kind of tough you know it actually was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be not even half as bad as as i thought it was gonna be um just like being a stay-at-home mom i actually really am enjoying it um i do miss going to work i no longer work at ulta and i'm not planning on going back um god and i had a whole talk and we were like you know what like we both agreed that i should just stay at home with santi for a little while um the virus is gonna go on for the rest of the year so we were like we shouldn't even rush it. like we shouldn't even rush um going back to work well like me obviously not a lot of people knew i was working at ulta i don't really put like i don't know i don't really put like personal things out there like that but yeah i was working at ulta and someone asked me to film what it's really like working at ulta and i'm gonna do that for y'all because literally like i don't even know how many people in total it was but last time i checked it was like 70 people that said that they want to see that video i was like damn like y'all really want to know there's a lot of fucking crazy customer experiences um annoying customers so yeah i can film that for you guys all right next question wait hold on but the whole quarantine thing too bitch let me tell y'all how i gained like 20 pounds like when i'm telling you like i gained 20 pounds like i'm being dead ass um since i was stuck at home you know like being a stay-at-home mom i feel like i was like eating just because i was bored Next question someone asked me what helps you what helps motivate you with your work sometimes i have creative blocks that's a great question um i feel like we all go through that honestly like like sometimes we have like a face where we feel like unmotivated or uninspired and that's normal you know what helps me stay motivated is kind of like having a schedule um like i know with like the lockdown you know a lot of people didn't have uh a job it depends i guess like for me like i do makeup so i wasn't doing makeup at all like on lockdown but i kind of started doing makeup on my sister just to, you know to practice um I, I would do makeup on myself just so like i could pose and stuff like that but i try to keep a schedule just like you know like i do makeup and i'm doing youtube um so i try to plan out my week i have a list of like a bunch of like youtube video ideas um which is very helpful for me because then i know like okay i can film this this week so then when i know what i'm gonna film i kind of plan like okay i'm gonna film this day and i'm gonna have i'm gonna edit this day so you know what i mean just like plan out what you're gonna do that week i know i'm not gonna have a lot of clients or you know like right now i don't really have a lot of clients um i try to do makeup on myself so i'll plan like okay this week i'm gonna do this i feel like just staying productive like since i'm not doing a lot of makeup i should practice on myself or i should practice on my sister or whatever you know just keep on doing makeup also i like to follow like makeup artists and like just like motivational pages just so that my feed can motivate me as well you know what i mean so just like reading motivational quotes is gonna motivate me um seeing people post their makeup um Seeing people post their makeup is gonna motivate me too. I'm gonna be like, okay, you know what? Like, I need to do my makeup. I need to pose. Yeah, just simple things like that um, keep me motivated. And it's really small things, honestly, but it does make a difference. Um, so yeah. You know, someone asked why did I start makeup, and then another person asked why did I start YouTube. So I'll just like kind 
kind of like tie them in together so why did i start makeup i feel like it was an accident honestly like um i like to do makeup on myself and then so like a few years back like i would just do makeup on myself like i normally do um and yeah i just liked it i just liked doing my makeup and i started doing it on my friends just like close friends you know like just for fun and then people started hitting me up like for real they were like how much do you charge for makeup and i'm like huh i, I would be like what like i don't know how much like I'd be like damn like people want me to do their makeup like and then i was just like okay well i guess i'm gonna do people's makeup so yeah i basically just started with friends and then and then just like other people would hit me up so then i was like well i might as well make it a thing now so but yeah i like i like doing makeup on other people like even if it was just friends like i loved doing it so i was like well i accidentally discovered my passion so yeah i was like okay this is actually my passion like i really do like makeup i really do enjoy doing it on others so why not make it a real thing so yeah that's basically how i started honestly it's crazy and i've been doing it for like for like three years i would say um i feel like the the past two years it has been pretty serious um because yeah at first it was just like friends it wasn't really like something serious like i wasn't really doing it so often you know but now like it's like more serious like i got booked for like wedding it's crazy to look back and be like wow like look where i am now it is crazy and, it, and i'm like nowhere near where i want to be but it's just like a good feeling you know just seeing how you started and then where you're at now so yeah that's how i started makeup um and why did i start youtube i just loved youtube videos like i loved watching youtube i loved seeing people do their makeup um especially like funnier people like i don't know i just loved watching them so i was like i feel like i can do that and it was just like for fun honestly like i just wanted to do youtube videos and i felt like it would be so fun and just like doing my makeup and just letting people see my personality um which at first oh my god i was so freaking camera shy like looking back at my like first videos i'm like bruh who is that like who is that you see i love doing videos and then just like being able to be yourself on camera and make it like a big thing like why not you know what i mean like i want that so it took me a whole pandemic to start being consistent on youtube like that's crazy but it is hard work guys like you know like it may seem so easy like oh yeah you just sit there and record yourself like no uh-uh it is not that easy like it's not <laughs> it takes a lot of time a lot of patience a lot of i don't know it is hard but i do love it though i love it so yeah that's why i'm doing it all right um this is also another makeup question someone asked me was it hard to learn how to do um she said specifically eye makeup it actually wasn't that hard for me i feel like the easiest thing for me was doing eyeshadow um eyebrows and eyeshadow like that was that's still like my favorite thing to do um but i obviously practice a lot myself like i would do makeup on myself a lot before i even started doing makeup on others so i already knew like how to do certain things yeah. i obviously had to learn how to do it on different um eye shapes and everything so um yeah it wasn't really hard for me honestly though i feel like the hardest part for me was like face makeup like i knew how to do it so good on myself but on other people like just like learning skin types and all that like that was the hardest part um but it's just like a learning thing like you basically learn the more you practice the more you practice on like different skin types and different um just different faces overall like the more knowledge you gain so yeah that's kind of like how you learn honestly um being a makeup artist where do you see yourself in five years 
Um, so that I feel like that ties into. Um, I see myself having um, another kid. So having two kids overall, owning a home. And career-wise, I see myself doing YouTube full-time and still doing makeup, but doing mostly like makeup seminars or like makeup classes and stuff like that um so yeah i just started doing makeup lessons and i'm like so happy with like the feedback like i was like damn like people really want to learn from me like that's crazy like you know i kind of just like threw it out there and i was like i like i know people are gonna want to learn from me but i didn't expect like so yeah in the future i see myself doing like big classes like um, not just one-on-one, -on -one, but like bigger classes. So yeah, I want to do that. Um, so yeah, that's where I see myself in five years. Just, you know, owning a home, having a, having another kid, um, living my best life. What's my favorite thing about myself physically and characteristic? Is that like how you say it? I don't even know. Um, what's my favorite thing? Physically? <laughs> Nothing. Mm-mm. What is my favorite thing about myself physically i feel like i like my eyes yeah i think that's my favorite thing my eyes and then characteristically definitely like my personality like just like everything about my personality i love no i just feel like i have something in me because like a lot of my makeup clients i have never met i have never seen them before it's like you know i don't know them and i feel like i have something in me like in my personality that people get so comfortable with me um right off the bat like they're literally telling me their whole life story right off the bat so i don't know i feel like it's my personality that i love proudest accomplishment booking for brides like bridal parties i feel like that's my biggest accomplishment i'm like wow like People really want me to do their makeup for their wedding and it's not just them like it's not just the bride it's like the whole party you know what I mean like that's my biggest accomplishment I'm like wow like I really I'm doing something right if people are booking me so yeah I feel like that's my biggest accomplishment how would my friends describe me they wouldn't because I have no friends Exactly <laughs> how they would describe me they would probably say that i joke too much like i'm never serious um and that i'm the life of the party but like that's the thing i don't even try to be the life of the party i just kind of am i feel like that's just the main one like that i'm always joking around um would i change something about myself <laughs> yeah i would I would change myself to have no anxiety. <laughs> Who felt that? Probably to not be so, to not get so stressed out like over little things, you know what I mean? I would change that about myself. Um, I feel like I can make something so little um, turn into something so big and I don't like that like it can be like oh like they gave me the wrong drink at taco bell i'll be like damn like so now i'm just gonna have the worst day ever because my drink isn't the one i wanted and now like i'm not gonna be as happy in my video and like you know what i mean like just stop like stressing so much and then my appearance like i would change i would make myself have a tiny ass waist and a flat stomach um yeah after i have kids i'm gonna get like some liposuction or like a tummy tuck or something you know is my glass half full or half empty i feel like i definitely try my hardest to view it as half full um because there's always some like you know there's always something to be grateful for um regardless of any situation there's always something that you can be grateful for so i always try to see that see my life that way like i'm always like okay you know what like okay like this happened but you know i'm still here what's my biggest fear fucking mice i hate mice like 
thinking about them oh my god like Ugh, I can't I cannot watch a movie and if there's mice in it I, I just I have to like like I get so like ugh like I don't know like I want to throw up <laughs> I don't even like thinking about it because then I'm gonna have nightmares and just like something bad happening to Santi like mm -mm. God forbid what has been the hardest moment I've gone through? Yikes. <laughs> um, postpartum, for sure. Postpartum was definitely the hardest time of my life. Adjusting to everything, adjusting to not sleeping at all, breastfeeding, taking care of a little human, and just you know trying to be the best that you can like just everything you know just like everything changes so i feel like that was the hardest time for me not only because like you know i was trying to adjust to being a mom but also because i had postpartum depression like i feel like when i was going through that i would be like no one understands me like no one understands what i'm feeling no one no one knows what this feels like like you know what i mean it was really hard um i also had anxiety like right before i gave birth i started i started having anxiety so it was like depression and then anxiety so that was hard but, and i did have the help like i had my i had my mom there i had my my family there i had you know like i had help but which i'm so grateful for like i'm so beyond grateful for like i know a lot of people don't have the help and you know i'm more than grateful to have had it and still do also at the time i re my relationship with rod was very rocky so it was kind of just like everything thrown at me um you know just having a baby having to adjust um having no sleep like Having depression, having anxiety, not having a good relationship with Rod. Um, it was just like the toughest time ever. It really freaking was. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it happens to a lot of us. So yeah, it is very normal. But yeah, if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about like mom life and just like postpartum and everything like that, I can definitely make another video about it. I don't know, I just kind of want to be here for anyone that is going through it or has gone through it and knows what it's like uh then like not everyone knows about me honestly like i feel like not even my close friends knew about it honestly like i kind of didn't tell anyone and i feel like that's the worst thing you can do like the best thing you can do is talk to someone about it um have someone there for you instead of kind of like isolating yourself because that's what i would do like i would be like no i don't want anyone to talk to me i don't want to do anything like i just want to be by myself and like that's the worst thing you can do when you're feeling that way because you're just gonna like make yourself like sink into this fucking hole and then you're gonna and then it's gonna be so hard for you to get out like so yeah the best thing i can say is talk to someone yeah just like you know doing things you love doing things for yourself um because I know when you're a first time mom, like it's hard for you to feel like yourself again, for you to be like, oh, you know what? I'm not just a mom. I am still myself. Like I'm still Jackie. Like I'm not just a mom, you know what I mean? So yeah, just doing things for yourself, doing things that you love is gonna help a lot. Um, so yeah, I feel like I <laughs> went on a rant with that, but yeah. Um, I have gotten this question a lot recently and I'm like um, but people are asking us if we're gonna have another baby or when we're gonna have another baby um can y'all let us fucking breathe the fuck um no but we do want another baby we just want one more and hopefully it's a girl so we can be done um and I think we're like we had said that we wanted to start like planning to have another baby um when santi is like three like two and a half or three and that's literally next year um <laughs> so
so yeah i'm just like wow like you know it's right around the corner um are you ready for them so yeah i feel like uh, maybe when he turns three we'll start trying and hopefully it's a girl because uh, like i said i just want one more that's it that's it what is my favorite family tradition um honestly it's like very simple to me but just that ever since i was little we always ate together like we always had dinner we always had breakfast together like as a family and i feel like um now that i have my own family that's what we do that's what i like to do and i feel like it's just like it's just a good tradition to have honestly like just sitting down together and you know just talking about how our day was or talking about like anything um while we eat i feel like that's just like the best family tradition for me if rod like works late or whatever like he actually got a new job little update on that he got a new job so his schedule is like totally different now um he works from 6 p.m to 4 a.m um and he works like four days and then four days he's off so that's different but um when he was working like a like a morning shift morning to like afternoon shift if he was gonna get out late i would wait for him like i'm like i'm gonna wait for you if you're gonna get out really late then you know i'm gonna be starving so i'll eat without you but for the most part i would always wait for him because i just love um eating together like i just feels weird when he when i eat before him or like when we eat separate you know what i mean like i don't know like i feel like that's just a good thing to have um so yeah i'm gonna teach something i'm gonna teach my kids that to come in familia in esta casa okay um yeah the, uh, so yeah we're like really happy for that um that's another reason why i'm not going back to ulta because you know like he has his new job and like there's no need for me to go back when me puede mantener. Um, last question. Why is my name J Money? I'm UA. Um, it's very simple. It's very simple. Um, basically, when I was in high school, I kind of just started. I don't know. You know when, like, in high school, people would be like, "Oh, like J," like calling or like calling themselves like like j money j stacks or like j cash or whatever you know like dumb shit like that i feel like a lot of people would call each other a lot of people would do that you know what i mean um i just started calling myself j money and i don't even know why like i don't know why it was just something dumb like you know something dumb it was literally dumb and then um, my friends started calling me J Money. They were like, oh, J Money, like, you know what I mean? It was just like a thing. And then there was like one time I did, I did like this really like long cut crease. It was like my first time ever trying one. And I posted it on Instagram, like I posted a little video, which I still have on my Instagram. And I hashtagged, I think I hashtag like, oh, who wants their makeup done? And then hashtag like J Money MUA to be funny. You know what I mean? Cause like, I don't know. Like I was in an MUA, like I didn't do makeup on people, but I just hashtagged it that like, oh, who wants their makeup done? Like, you know, like my makeup was on fleek, um, J Money MUA, like trying to say like, oh, like, oh, I'm an MUA now. You know what I mean? It was just all like, Fun and games until I actually changed my name to J Money M U A. Um, once I actually really started getting, once I actually really started getting into makeup, I changed it and it just stuck with me. So yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Um, sometimes I'm like, should I change it? Like, should I change my fucking name? Like, I don't know. Like, is it too dumb? Like, is it childish? Like. I don't know sometimes i'll be wanting to change it but then i'm like whatever like you know there was this one girl that i asked um one of my friends like oh like you know j money and she's like who the fuck is j money and she's like um jackie she's like why are you calling her j money 
<laughs> um, my friend doesn't have um, social media, so she wouldn't know. Like, my name is J Money MUA on social media. But yeah, I just think that's. Alright, guys. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little personal get to know me Q and A. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Help your girl out. Subscribe to my channel. Like, what is he doing? Like, what is he doing? You know what I mean? Like, you're watching me right now. So you might as well subscribe. So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.